All right, good evening, everyone. I'd like to call the, uh, to order the first meeting of the Cleveland Heights City Council for 2024. This will be an organizational meeting only. First off, reporting the results of the Board of Elections for the November 7th, 2023 general election. In this election, Gail Larson, Jim Petrus, and Janine Boyd were elected council members for the City of Cleveland Heights. Congratulations. We will now begin the swearing in of our new council members. Uh, just for the record, Janine uh, Boyd was sworn in yesterday at her home by Honorable Judge Shirley Strickland Stafford. Her oath of office is on file with Clerk of Counsel and Law Department. Next, we'll have the swearing in of Gail Larson. Short-term memory is still pretty good. Very good. <laughs> so, uh, left hand on the Bible, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. Uh, I, Gail Larson. I, Gail Larson. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States of America. That I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States of America. The Constitution and laws of the state of Ohio. The Constitution and Laws of the State of Ohio. And the Charter and Ordinances of the City of Cleveland Heights. And the Charter and Ordinances of the City of, of Cleveland Heights. And that so long as I continue to hold a position as council member. And so long as I continue to hold a position as council member. I will honestly. I will honestly. Faithfully. Faithfully. And impartially. And impartially. Discharge the duties of that office. Discharge the duties of that office. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. <laughs> Next, we will have the swearing in of Jim Petrus. I, Jim Petrus. I, Jim Petrus. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States of America. That I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States of America. The Constitution and laws of the State of Ohio. The Constitution and laws of the State of Ohio. And the Charter and Ordinances of the City of Cleveland Heights. And the Charter and Ordinances of the City of Cleveland Heights. And that so long as I continue to hold a position as council member. And that so long as I continue to hold a position as council member. I will honestly. I will honestly. Faithfully. Faithfully. And impartially. And impartially. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of that office. Of that office to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Good. Good. Yeah.
Yep. Councilman Petras, you can go take your seat now. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, there you go. That's nice. Congratulations. Next, we'll do the selection of President Pro Tem. Do I have a motion? Madam Chair. Madam Chair. I'd like to nominate Davida Russell for President Pro Tem. Second. Let's get on the mic. Second. Are there any more nominations? Yes, I'd like to nominate Vice President Cobb as pro temp. All right, no more nominations, correct? All right, we will do a roll call and you will indicate uh, who you're voting for. Um, Kuda. Russell. Boyd. Larson. Russell. Cobb. Cobb. Um, Petrus. Russell. Maddox. Cobb. Did we get everyone? Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Russell. <laughs> All right, Councilwoman Russell. Okay. <laughs> Good evening. Now we will proceed with the nominations and elections for president of Cleveland Heights City Council for 2024. I need a motion to open up the nominations for president of Cleveland Heights City Council for 2024. So moved. I have a second. Discussion? Second. That motion and a second. President Pro Tem, can we do roll call first? I'm sorry? We need to do roll call first. For the meeting. Oh. <laughs> Because we've sworn everyone in, now they need to roll call. Oh, sorry, go ahead. That's no, okay. <laughs> Petrus? Here. Larson? Here. Huda? Here. Russell? Here. Cobb? Here. Boyd? Here. Maddox? Here. Okay, I'll start over. <laughs> Good evening. We are here now to, with, now to proceed with the nomination and elections for the president of Cleveland Heights City Council for 2024. I need a motion to open up nominations for the president of Cleveland Heights City Council for 2024. So moved. I have a second. Discussion? Seeing none, all in favor signify by the sign of aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Now the floor is now open for nominations for the president of Cleveland Heights of City Council. Do I now hear nominations for the president of Cleveland Heights City Council? Madam President, I nominate is Gail a, Larson. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, a second is not needed, but is not uh, uh, restricted. Nominations are not open. I nominate Councilwoman Gail Larson for President of City Council. I have a motion, a nomination for Gail Larson for President of City Council. Uh, Gail Larson, do you accept the nomination? No. Do I have another nomination for President of City Council? I nominate Janine Boyd for President of uh, City Council. I have, I'm sorry, we have Gail. Gail Larson. I nominate Councillor Tony Kuda for President of Council. Councillor Kuda is committed to advocating for all seven of us as we do the work on the issues that are important to the citizens of Cleveland Heights. He will work with all seven of us to establish council rules, goals, and processes. He's committed to working collaboratively with the mayor and the directors to help all members of council be successful legislators. Councillor Kuda is committed to advocating for all seven of us as we work together moving forward on the issues that are important to the citizens of Cleveland Heights. Councillor Kuda is ready to get to work as president of council. Councilman Kuda, do you accept the nomination for president of city council? I do, thank you. 
There's, are there any other nominations for president of city council? Yes, I nominate Janine Boyd as president of city council. I have a nomination for president of city council, Janine Boyd. Janine Boyd, do you accept the nomination? Janine Boyd accepts. Are there any other nominations? Going once, are there any other nominations? Going twice, are there any other nominations for the president of city council? Seeing none. I need a motion to close nominations for president of city council. So moved. I need a second. Second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same. Same sign. Okay. All right, now we will proceed with the election for Cleveland Heights City Council. I will turn it over to the clerk for roll call. All right, same as before, we'll do roll call, but you'll indicate uh, who you're voting for. Cobb. Kuda. Larson. Kuda. 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 Petrus. Kuda. Russell. Kuda. Boyd. Maddox. Is now the appropriate time to have the discussion? Not doing the vote. Yes, we didn't know we didn't have a discussion, that's why I'm asking. I didn't want to interrupt anyone. Not at this time. Let's go with the vote and then I'll bring it back to a discussion. That's fine. Okay. Boy. All right. Um, Tony Kuda, you are president of council. Uh, Congratulations, Tony Kuda, for being selected as president of council. Now at this time, we'll open up for discussion. Thank you. The reason that I am opposing Council Kuda as president for city council is there are several reasons. Over the last two years, this council has faced several difficulties in terms of its unification as a body and its communication with this administration. Councilman Kuda over the last two years has seemed to have spent several moments of time and more time, in fact, uh, talking about the separation of powers and the collaboration of vision. I went six months without getting a reply to him and I sat on his housing committee with concerns about a piece of legislation that would have possibly impacted negatively people of color. I stated that I had issues and that there may be some disparate impact with this legislation. For six months, he ignored several emails. I was dismissed several times in person when I asked him to request these emails. And so I do not believe uh, that Councilman Kudo can work collaboratively with other members of this council and has the ability to really hear all seven of us. If he does, I would like to hear a commitment from him tonight that he will no longer ignore his colleagues' emails, especially those emails that are concerning issues that could impact people of color in this city. I would also like him to acknowledge the fact that disparate impact does exist in this community and can exist in legislation if not discussed openly. I would also like him to go ahead and, and commit to collaborating with not only the seven of us, but also this administration in a transparent and positive way. Um, I have serious concerns about the next two years on this council, and I hope that I'm wrong. I'm hoping that we will not spend the next two years, again, talking about the separation of powers instead of the collaboration of vision. I'm hoping that we can have a serious conversation about legislation and how it impacts people of color and disparate impact. And I'm hoping that, along with the other members of council, that when I send him an email as president of council to discuss any matters on this council, I will not be dismissed and ignored, and I will be treated just as the other members of this council. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is there any more discussion? Seeing none, I got a motion that all discussion are closed. Second. I have um, a motion and a second. All discussions are now closed. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Tony Kuda, congratulations. You are now the president of city council. Can you please step down and get your oath, take your oath? Thank you. You have to raise your right hand. So. Okay, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. 
I, Tony Kuda. I, Tony Kuda. Do solemnly swear or do, affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States of America. That I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States of America. The Constitution and laws of the state of Ohio. The Constitution and laws of the state of Ohio. And the charter and ordinances of the city of Cleveland Heights. And the charter and ordinances of the city of Cleveland Heights. And that so long as I continue to hold the position of president of council. And so long as I hold the position of president of council. I will honestly. I will honestly. Faithfully. Faithfully. And impartially. And impartially. Discharge the duties of that office. Discharge the duties of that office. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this. All right. Okay, let's uh, just keep things moving along. Let's open up the nominations for vice president. Do I have any nominations from the floor? Yes, Mr. Petrus. Mr. President, I nominate Councilwoman Davida Russell to be vice president of the Cleveland Heights City Council. All right. Uh, Councilwoman Russell, do you uh, accept that nomination? Yes. Okay. Are there any other nominations for vice president? Hearing none, I move to close the nominations. Do I, do I have a second on that? Second. Okay. All in favor of closing the nomination, say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Congratulations, Councilwoman Russell. Don't have to vote. Don't have to vote. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not a foregone conclusion. You do have to vote. We'll just do a voice vote for this one. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Now I can say congratulations, Madam Vice President, and you can be sworn in now. I, Davida Russell. I, Davida Russell. Do you solemnly swear or affirm? Do solemnly swear and affirm. That I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States of America. That I will support the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America. The Constant, Constitution and laws of the state of Ohio. The Constitution and the laws of the state of Ohio. <clears throat> and the Charter and Ordinances of the City of Cleveland Heights. And the Charter and Ordinances of the City of Cleveland Heights. And that so long as I continue to hold the position of Vice President of Council. So long as I continue to hold this position of Vice President of Council. I will honestly. I will honestly. Faithfully. Faithfully. And impartially. And impartially. Discharge the duties of that office. Discharge the duties of that office. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, moving on with the agenda. Uh, the next uh, item is uh, President of Council announces committee memberships, which obviously I can't do today, but I will uh, ask uh, our council clerk if tomorrow we can send out an email to everybody requesting what their preferences would be uh, as far as uh, committee assignments go so we can do that at that time um mr president i'd like to remind all council members when you do reply only reply to me and to council president Kuda. thank you and um law director uh hannah uh other business related to council is that something we have to do okay uh so mr. president i do have other business 
related to this transition. Please. In council organization. I'm asking for your commitment that you will not ignore my emails and that you will respond when talking to issues about people of color. I well, want to know that you will make a commitment to working collaboratively with all members of this council. We're, we're certainly going to work collaboratively. We've always, I think, there's always been, uh, as a matter of fact, in the, when I got sworn in um, two years ago, that was the first thing we talked about. Um, and I think you and I should address some issues. I don't think this moment, but I think we should. I should don't do that. think that and I'm I, asking for a commitment that you okay. will respond to my emails when of we're discussing legislation. Emails, but we need, to, we, for we, move, we need to move the agenda forward. About mutual respect. And so yep. that's what I'm asking. Sure. Um, and then lastly, uh, before we adjourn, uh, I'd like to invite all the people who were elected to make a statement, if you'd like. You don't have to, but. Oh, thank you, sure. uh, Mr. President. Um, well, Happy New Year to everyone. <laughs> and it's nice to see your faces. Um, I am grateful to have passed some good legislation at the end of last year, and I look forward to passing some more good legislation that improves the lives of our residents. So thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> Anybody else like to speak? All right, Councilwoman Larson. First of all, there are three groups of people who are responsible for helping me achieve this important moment in my life. First, I'm very grateful for the support my daughter Becca, my sister Joan, and my dear friends Jean, Kay, and Marty have given me invaluable, invaluable advice these past 23 months. Second, I appreciate immensely the campaign supporters who helped me on campaign 2023. These people, some who are here tonight, got petitions signed, held meet and greets and fundraisers, represented me at block parties, organized and canvassed with lit drops, stood at polling places on November 7th, shared their support and concerns over coffee, and on and on. I'm, and thirdly, I'm very thankful for all the Cleveland Heights residents who voted for me. <clears throat> Congratulations to our new Council President Kuda and new Vice President Russell. I look forward to working with you to make a difference in our city. The campaign survey we, that we took in 2023 told me a lot about what Cleveland Heights citizens expect from their council administration. Here are some of my priorities. Enforcement of housing and building codes. Time after time, citizens are asked for help for blighted single and double homes, apartment buildings, and business districts. Severance redevelopment. What will be next? Severance could be a wonderful opportunity for Cleveland Heights to have a city center it is proud of. City support for Noble, Taylor, Cedar Lee Business District, Coventry. Whether using ARPA funds or priorities from the 2024 budget, these districts especially need the attention of council and the city administration. Climate change and sustainability plan. <clears throat> for the sake of our young people, council will work collaboratively with the administration in implementing solutions and building community awareness of environmental issues. Walkability and bike safety. Cleveland Heights residents deserve to be safe as they walk or ride to school, to worship, to a nearby business district or neighbor's home. We can increase safety by repairing sidewalks, removing snow from sidewalks in certain conditions, and enforcing <clears throat> excuse me, Vision Zero and complete and green street streets legislation. All of these concerns require council that work closely in a collaborative manner with each and other and the administration. Additionally, I believe our citizens should be given many opportunities to weigh in on the work we are doing to move the city forward. To our citizens, please call, text, or email me anytime. I welcome your input. I'm ready to go to work for all of you. Thank you. Councilman Petrus, how does that sound? Mm -hmm. Thank you to everyone who is joining us this evening in person and online. I am grateful and honored to have been elected to the Cleveland Heights City Council. Our city is vibrant, diverse, and full of potential. My commitment is to listen to, learn from, and work with all other members of council and the mayor and his administration. Together, we can foster a collaborative environment and achieve great things. Several months ago, my close friend Matthew Knapfell unexpectedly passed away. We were roommates throughout college and after graduating continued to talk almost daily. Matt was one of the people who helped me to learn that service to others is a way that people can show gratitude for the things that they have in life. As I begin this journey, I'd like to pay tribute to Matt and the influence that he had on me. 
Again, I am grateful and honored to have been elected to this body and look forward to getting to work. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Uh, yes, it's Bob Munson. Oh, did you want to say? No. Well, no, I will just say. Madam Vice President. Thank you. I will just say Happy New Year to everyone. Um, some of the residents has tagged me as DeVita for the people. And that's a tagline that I wear proudly. And I have always been here for the people. I've been for the people for 42 years before I even became a councilwoman in my labor background, as well as in my political background, as different organizations that I belong to and boards and commissions that I belong to. I have always fought for the people and the justice of our communities. And I will continue to do that as long as I stay on council and after I leave council. But I want you to know Anytime you need something or anytime you want something, please feel free to call me, reach out to me as you always have. And I want to say to everyone on this council, I really look forward to looking, look, working with each and every one of you collaboratively, honestly, and openly. And I hope that we move forward in 2024 with a new attitude and a gracious outlook for our community. Thank you. That's certainly something to shoot for. So I wanna thank my colleagues who supported uh, Vice President Russell and myself. We appreciate the faith that you have placed in us to lead this body forward. Uh, Davida Russell, you have been an inspiration to me. As, long, as a longtime labor leader, a bus driver, which that, that job that you love so much, and now uh, councilwoman and, and vice president of council, you have earned a tremendous amount of respect uh, from our community. Uh, we met as neighbors first, and uh, you know we live on the same street. Um, and uh, when I got elected two years ago, I felt like we, we just clicked um, as colleagues. But but more importantly, I think uh, I'm just proud to call you a friend, and I'm looking forward to working side by side with you, Councilman Jim Petrus. This man worked so hard to get elected. He really, I mean, he went door to door. This is always a good sign. Uh, when someone is willing to go door to door, day after day, and listen, really listen to the concerns of our residents. And Jim did that. I, I know this type of dedication, uh, I know this is the type of dedication that you will bring um, as an active member of our legislative body. And please let me know or any of your colleagues here what we can do to help get you up to speed and make your tenure on council successful. Um, and congratulations, of course, to Janine Boyd and Gail Larson on getting elected and returning to council for four more years. Um, Mayor, way back there <laughs> in the corner. Um, Vice President uh, Russell and I look forward to working with you as well. Let's set up a, a time uh, so we can uh, begin the process of building a productive relationship that benefits the community we all love so much. And finally, let me say, if you ever get a chance to watch the Kelsey brothers getting uh, inducted into the Heights High Hall of Fame, it's on YouTube, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful watch. Um, there is something about growing up in Cleveland Heights that just becomes part of you. And the Kelsey brothers talked about this. They said it so well. And um, there's just no place like Cleveland Heights. So let me, let me end by saying I, I am also a proud graduate of Cleveland Heights High School. And, I, and I've spent uh, more than uh, 40 years living in Cleveland Heights. Uh, Council, President, Council Vice President Russell and I are looking forward to serving you, our residents, in our new leadership roles on Cleveland Heights City Council. Thank you. All right. May I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All right. It's been motioned and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. The next council meeting is January 16th. The meeting of January 2nd, 2024 is adjourned. Thank you.